Absolutely. You know, initial two and three months, you know, my subscriptions was not going beyond 100. You know, my views were like, you know, 15, 20. I'm a, I'm a strong believer of uh, Lord Krishna. You know, he says that, you know, just do your work. Don't worry about results. I strongly believe that even for date, right? So that was the motivation. You have a very interesting story and an angle because Shirimantha.in um, did tremendous revenue and the main channel of traffic was not ads, which is the most common knowledge that we talk about. So how and when you started, um, I think that's the first part of the question. And what was the marketing strategy for Shirimantha? Yeah. Uh to start, you know, whatever I, I did was, right, I mean, the intention, intention was very different. We did not want to be a conventional business. We want to be, a, we wanted to, always wanted to be an ethical business. When I say ethical business, you know, I want to be profitable. At the same time, my clients or my customers or my students should not be burdened and should get a fair deal as well. So when I was looking out for, uh, okay, the way that I started was, right, I mean, I wanted to teach uh, this trading for free. You know, I wanted to go and teach people for free. You know, that's what I started doing. But it was a huge burden on myself because, you know, teaching was not an easy thing. You know, the, the trading itself is not a one day, two day course, which, 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 which gets over, but it's a continuous learning effort, maturity should be improved. So a lot of challenges were there. So though I wanted to teach things for free, I could not devote myself that much of, you know, uh, time for this. So that's when I, 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 I conducted a few of the free sessions, uh, uh, I know, announced on Facebook. Actually, I spent money for marketing my free courses. Uh, when I, I got only some 100, 150 uh, students at the max, you know. How much did years. you spend? How much did you spend? Um, I spent, you know, around a, a lakh, around a lakh. To, oh, oh, so about 1,000 uh, rupees, rupees in acquisition. Uh, yeah, I mean, just to kind of, you know, it, it, was, it was, I was not selling anything, basically. I was wanting to give the course for free. Yeah. I don't yeah. have an uh, other motives also, you know, I did not want to filter people and sell a bigger course. No, I did not have anything. I... My intention was very sane. I wanted to give this course for free, but you know, people did not turn up. You know, my expectation you know, was not right there. So that's when I kind of thought that you know I should kind of you know go for this uh, uh, market digital marketing agencies and all these things. You know, which which would charge me a bomb. That's when I thought like you know let me go for YouTube. Whatever happens, let's see. You know, that was the whole strategy when I went for YouTube. Before I go forward, let me highlight to people watching this session today. I have looked at the videos that you produced. You know, they are um, they they break so many rules of the traditional YouTube wisdom, right? Uh, let me highlight, and I'll hear your th uh, thoughts about this later. You don't use too much of production in your videos. I think you just go live and you're recording yourself live on a Zoom or a Google Meet kind of a session. Or um, it, it could be YouTube live directly, right? I mean, you possibly could be doing that. Uh, the second thing I saw you doing very differently is that, um, you know, there is, apart from being no post production, you don't have too much of preparation done for all these videos as well. I mean, you're very impromptu. Am I right uh, in saying that? Um, so these are the two things that stood out. Um, a lot of people get stuck because of these two reasons, right? I mean, they, they think, um, you know, it, it just basically is a challenge for people because they feel I'll have to get in front of the camera, have a nice setup, you know, expensive equipment, and, and you're do, not doing any of that. So this is, this is uh, brilliant. What else are the techniques there just from a starter's uh, standpoint? Uh, yeah, see, I, I went through that phase, right? I mean, for me, that was the biggest blocker. Though I had the knowledge to share, the biggest block, I, I did not know how to shoot. I did not know how to edit. I did not know anything of these, right? I, and neither did I, I, had, I had a team with me to do all these things. So it, it is an evolution, you know, last one year, it's an evolution. And I can, you know, probably share that and people can probably skip that uh, hardship what I uh, went through. Uh, the, the, the main thing was, you know, the, the, the what do you call the the differentiator was the monopoly, right? I mean, I had a monopoly, you know, I did not, I was not competing with anyone. So for me, I had a quality content to deliver and I had a language, which is like, you know, completely, you know, a uh, uh, monopoly. You know, there's no one, you know, uh, no person in Karnataka or Canada who can like, you know, giving this much of information, what I was giving the quality uh, content, what I was delivering. That was so uh, every video was Canada. Every single video was Canada. Yeah, every like, video is Canada. No. Amazing. Amazing. So that's the third thing. You know, a lot of people get stuck saying, I'm not too confident. I can only speak one language or maybe this language. And, and this is brilliant. Yeah. Uh, you know, you, you've broken all the rules. You've made your own playbook. 
Now, how many total views now, Ram, uh, on all these videos? Uh, I think it's it, it's I I don't know the exact numbers, but it, it has crossed somewhere around uh, three million uh, views in total. Is what I've seen. Amazing, amazing. Yeah. That's that's a huge around number. Of Congratulations. Yeah. Three things that came out. No production value. You were not editing. Are you editing now? Come one year later. Do you have a team? Do you edit your videos now, or is it still the same playbook? Is this is still the same playbook. You know, I keep it very simple. There are okay. certain videos I have to edit, and I've learned the skill now. It, it's it's very easy. You know, it's a one-hour video on YouTube. You can learn editing. You know, in no time. Camera operations is like you know again a half an hour video on YouTube. You can learn camera operations. No big deal. And the equipment cost would not cost you a big bomb. Also, it's a, it's a very kind of you know I have a small green screen behind. You know, it's a very easy stuff to do. I still edit few of my videos, but most of my videos are you know live. You know. I can you can say seventy eighty percent of my videos are live, and I go live every day. So when you just said it does not cost you a bomb, these are some questions that are always in the minds of our viewers. What does not a bomb mean? How much is not a bomb? Uh, okay, uh, let let me kind of you know uh, break my break up my costs right. I mean for producing such a video. I would just an overall a, cost would work. You know, I mean, if you could a, a, a lakh rupee, a one and a half lakh rupees is more than sufficient to have a full fledged studio. Is what I can say. Amazing, one and a half lakh rupees, and and you know, I I completely agree with you. You could have a studio, but let me give my take on this. We have done this, like all the equipment combined, um, under forty thousand, and and we will get. all the best quality that you want you know the mic is the most expensive one the camera could just be about 8 to 9000 of a good webcam and the third thing is a plain green screen nothing else required you yes. know you have a mic which is a decent sure mic have a basic webcam of logitech full high definition and a green screen which is about 3 4000 bucks that's it absolutely um, my, my, i was a little bit exorbitant on my camera and my computer otherwise you know you're right 40k is more than enough yeah Amazing, yeah. So I did not include the cost of the computer because I take this as a prerequisite of even the sixth class students now in the schools because you know everybody needs to have a computer these days to do uh, to live their lives actually online. Uh, so jumping back to the YouTube um, effort, I believe you did not have a community. You did mention that when you started, there was no base to it. You just started doing analysis on YouTube live every day. right you just made it a discipline were there days where you felt you know you don't want to do it today it's it's not a you no, not I, in the mood I, I, absolutely you know initial 2 and 3 months you know my subscriptions was not going beyond 100 you know my views were like you know 15 20 you know that was the you know if that is the response what you get you, you can imagine the motivation what i would get right and so, by the time you're done 100 right i mean 3 months later you've done 100 videos yeah. and you're getting 15 views it's a huge <laughs> jolt on your ego and your uh, self respect so what Absolutely. how did you cope with it and what what did you do at that point i uh, see uh, i am a, i'm a strong believer of uh, lord krishna you know he says that you know just do your work don't worry about result i strongly believe that even for date right so that was the motivation i just kept doing my work and magically you know it grew you know word of mouth not even spent a single rupee on marketing nothing it magically grew you know that's what uh, uh, the consistency gives you so there was no specific hack that you applied you did not spend money on ads how did you go from very few subscribers to a large subscriber based on youtube yeah so i mean the effort was there you know the research effort was there for sure so one big differentiator which made my subscription from 100 to 1000 was i start putting my thumbnail in my youtube which i did not do previously when i start putting thumbnail with my face on the on on the this thing i had like you know a sudden growth in subscriptions when i start putting relevant uh, uh, you know banners i got jump in the subscriptions this is a, a difference i start seeing then i started uh, you know uh, researching on hashtags it's all all by myself you know and start putting those hashtags relevant hashtags and that's when you know i could see another jump of uh, 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 in subscriptions so there were effort in research for sure uh, but there was no spent on uh, marketing at all i not uh, run any ads no no campaigns nothing run okay amazing this this is brilliant so did youtube give you some kind of monetization in the first year with so many people watching your videos okay we cautiously took a decision not to monetize our videos you know though we were eligible we cautiously took that you know we we thought that is an investment for user experience and we did not enough monetize even till date we and we don't have a strategy to monetize our videos also so we are not going to monetize it's our uh, you know uh, a consistent uh, decision what we are taking us from shimanta 
Amazing. So here is a point that all of the viewers should note down. Uh, Ram took a conscious decision not to monetize. You know, in, on YouTube, you do get this option after you have certain uh, qualifying number of views and followers. Uh, it does give you the option to put ads on um, and you can start making money, but you didn't. But I know that your online course did really well. Um, you have these videos on YouTube, close to 400 videos. And then there are courses sitting on shirimantha.in website, right? So your YouTube channel's name is also Shirimantha, I believe. <laughs> Yeah, it is. I am Srimantha. I am Srimantha. And people would notice th these are very interesting analysis points. So just on the top, you'll see 31,300 subscribers, right? The number of subscribers is not in millions, hundreds of thousands even. And you'll see the impact is huge when we talk further about what has been able uh, you know, to be done through this uh, channel is just unbelievably good. So um, 31,000 subscribers here. What happens as the connection between these videos and your website on shirimantha.in? How do people go from watching your videos to your website? How do you drive traffic? It's simple, right? I mean, if imagine this, my course as a college, right? You go to a college and, and, and learn something. And now my YouTube channel is a tuition. You know, evenings you come and get the tuition from a, a master, right? So whatever theoretical things I teach in the uh, in, in my course, the same exact thing I use in practicals. You know, how does it, that theory knowledge what you use in the course? How is it applicable here? How can that be used? Is what you know the, my YouTube videos, daily YouTube videos gives. That gives you know tremendous help for the traders, my students, everybody. Uh, people, you know, um, all my you kind know, of subscribers or my course purchase, they, they don't want me to call as uh, subscribers or uh, customers. They want them to be called as students and they want to call me as a teacher. So that's the relationship I have with them. So basically they get this handholding on a daily basis. I have a course and I have handholding on a daily basis. It's a mentorship throughout. So that's, that's super brilliant. And I think that's another great point that goes in your favor. My question specifically here is about call to actions. When somebody builds this audience on YouTube, how do they make sure that they drive that audience onto a website? Do you say that at the end of every video that you guys could go to shrimantha.in and buy a course? Are there links? How, how do you drive traffic there? So we definitely have links. Okay, we definitely have links. Every, uh, if, you, if I may open this one. Yeah, yeah, let's uh, do that. So this is your video from nine, uh, this is nine hours ago. Yeah, today, okay. I, okay. Uh, yeah, it was a pre-market analysis, which I did, which was, uh, it, it was up, up to the mark. I just let me brag on that. Uh, my analysis was up to the mark. And uh, this is what we do. You know, we have given them the course link. We have given them what are the course details. We have uploaded some videos for course details in YouTube, right? So there are like how to purchase course also is, uh, is also mentioned in uh, uh, these places. Yeah, this was a highly done, but otherwise I, I would have those course links uh, put in there. So this is one place. You write the description in the text that go and buy my course. This is one step. What is the what is the other place? So if I go to the end of any video, would I still see you saying it? If you want to learn more from me, go to shrimantha.in. Uh, uh, genuinely for us, you know, it, it, I don't want, uh, I keep telling my students, you know, in YouTube, you know, honestly, this is my honest uh, opinion also. To not to purchase my course until unless they really need it because I keep telling them that you know I will teach you everything on YouTube and I genuinely teach them also every day half an hour video is an enormous knowledge bundle of knowledge if somebody there are so many of my students who have not purchased my uh, course have become a very successful traders as of today uh, they send my they send their P&L statements they've not purchased my course right there are people like that I don't really encourage them to buy the course until they really want it. I tell them that it's a convenience, but you can get it for free here. That's the pitch and, and I, I truly believe in that as well. Amazing. So in the video, you kind of talk about that, guys, I don't recommend you buying because I'm going to teach any all of this anyways, um, you know, online. But still, the only place that connects your YouTube channel with your shrimantha.in website is this text. Correct. Which says course link or website link. Is that right? That's correct. Uh, I, I, at the same time, I also kind of, you know, sometimes I interject in my analysis on a daily analysis and I tell them that, you know, if you want to learn more about it in detail, this is there in that particular stage. I, I, I keep telling that because, you know, that brings some convenience to the students as well. If they want to learn some uh, difficult topic, they know where right. to go and buy. So you, 
and at that point do you just say it in the video recording or you are going to write this uh, on the in the video maybe a pop up message maybe something on the screen how do you do this i, I tell them is a connect and I, i tell them i don't have any pop up as it's live i don't do on that it's just live amazing this is brilliant and i know that these are classified numbers but i i believe and i if if it's okay would you like to shed some light on maybe the early days of revenues on shrimantha.in maybe we don't need to know what is the current maybe when you started or maybe last year when was a good period and what on a monthly basis could be an earning that you saw from this yeah sure as i said you know we started our uh, youtube channel in march last year and we launched our course in september uh it, it, it was there was a you know gap of around 4 to 5 5 months since we started our uh, 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 the courses on norish so during that time i think our subscription base was somewhere around uh, 7 or 8000 uh, uh, odd subscribers what i had when i launched uh, norish in this 5 months people were like you know uh, very kind of constantly you know pleading for this course to be released you no know, literally kind of that way right when i opened this course on norish on in september last year uh there was a uh, first month was super duper sales and then consistently the sales were organic you know organically growing you know we had like you know organic uh, group and uh, you know the numbers uh, you know you know you, we 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 made a very good kind of you know uh, uh, earnings in last 6 uh, or 7 months now. so can we talk about some of those numbers i mean i know that there was one particular 90 day period where you did about a crore rupees right yeah now now i think we are we are around somewhere around uh, 1.5 or uh, somewhere that i don't have the exact numbers now in last 6 months also we have around 1 and 1/2 uh, crore revenue now and uh, we are like looking out forward to launch uh, another set of five courses in next two months okay great this this is fantastic and why not in english or hindi because you have a good command on most of these languages right uh, yeah my my english is as good as this and my hindi i have a very fluent uh, uh hindi as well and i can speak tamil and telugu also uh tamil very fluently uh but i cautiously took the decision to be in kannada probably I, i may get into tamil probably i may get into telugu but for sure in near future not no english and hindi but i believe because you know we so why hindi, i i i want to learn from you right <laughs> I, I can see the the, the uh, I can teach you Rikina, no problem with that you know you are a brilliant man I can teach you in a day so uh, so you the, overestimate me but yeah I mean this is a, we we I mean my my intention here is that people are going to love the honesty of what you're doing in any language yeah so the, the whole purpose of me starting Srimanta was this right I mean I had gone through a, a very difficult journey of learning this art right I mean it's not just uh i i found that you know nobody in the world you know i i got trained from one of the best traders in the world you know i spent lakhs of rupees going to uh, international locations to learn things so uh, uh, just paying ex- uh, that huge money does not guarantee quality of education that's one thing which i realized second thing is not everybody can afford the, those kind of you know uh, courses right and third nothing is coming in a platter they always have a you know i'm not kind of you know going against my uh others where i don't see myself as a competitor to anyone the the biggest problem was nobody was offering everything in a platter you no know, i am offering everything in a platter you know the stage one to stage five what you see is a, is a platter actually so uh and third fourth thing was you know the understanding you know we the karnataka kannada speaking people is around 60 million people 60 million kannada speaking people out of which i can bet that you know at least 40 million people cannot understand hindi or english right and that's a huge number if i can offer them whatever i have to offer that itself is a huge market so i cautiously took a decision that you know i have to go in regional language and give them quality education at a very affordable cost these are three you know uh, reasons why we started shrimanta and that is working very well for us arkin one thing that you've done really well in the beginning is you identified your persona so well um you know you you identified that these are people in kannada um, you know who who understand in those parts of the country and how do they behave they're simple you in fact even went as deep as looking at the way they interact with website because i noticed you saying that you know they are doing it they they just want a simple navigation so how did you uh, you know this is this is so impressive like let me just complete the chain of thoughts and i'll have a few questions for you post that so you understood the persona well you built a youtube following because you wanted an organic channel of growth you stuck to it even though the you know the views were not too many um consistency 
was the key here, which is a lesson for people. And I think we, I would request our team to build kind of a deck on what we are learning from you, um, you know, and, and share it with people because these are all brilliant lessons. You were super consistent, not worried about the production quality, getting it done was the mantra there. Um, honest opinions, uh, good content, and honestly telling people with call to actions, relating this free content with more valuable uh, paid content on the site and you driving people there, whosoever was willing. And though you also put a disclaimer with all honesty that it's not important for people to go there and learn because you would teach them anyways, uh, whatever they were learning here. Um, and differentiation of not many people teaching in Kannada was again, I think a huge advantage. So this is the playbook that we see here. Um, amazing revenues. And you mentioned that you will also go into other languages, maybe regional only, right? right. Um, now, if other people are trying to build this on YouTube, what will be the one or two big suggestions that you would want to give them, uh, apart from what you've just told from your story? Yeah, so uh, I would suggest them, you know, I would, you know, recommend them to kind of, you know, search for the monopoly, right? I mean, monopoly is the key here. When I say monopoly, you have to find that edge, you know, a differentiator. You cannot, you should not be, you know, worried about competing with others. You know, there may be whatever you want to uh, teach, there is a YouTube channel, right? I mean, you you should not be worried about how can you make better than them. That's competition. So according to me, you should find that, you know, the edge, which which the mode factor, right? I mean, as a, as a trader, as an investor, I know what is mode, right? What is a differentiator, which which is not there anywhere. So try to find that mode. If you find that mode, then your journey is very easy and successful as well. Amazing. But what about other people now looking at you and starting teaching the same thing in Kannada? Or, I mean, you know, now they'll see your success and a lot of competitors will come. I know that you've gained an edge uh, because you were the first one. Ultimately, what's your defensibility against that? What's your, uh, you know, formula there? <laughs> Again, you know, uh, I keep it very simple. Again, I, I go back to I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a very spiritual person, right? When I say spiritual, it's not about praying God, right? It's about learning many things about what they have said. For me, it's very simple. I don't worry about competition. I don't worry about, you know, uh, the revenues. I don't worry about it. I do good things. You know, when I when I do uh, good things, you know, of course, you have to have researchers, right? I mean, uh, you have to give quality. Now, as I said, uh, in another two months, we are going to give uh, another set of courses, which are highly, highly valuable. And uh, I, I'm going to give that, you know, let the people accept Let I would, I would leave that to the, I mean, my work should tell not, I know I should not worry about any other competitions. What I think. 